Meghan Markle's biggest disappointment with ex-husband revealed. Meghan Markle was previously married to Hollywood producer Trevor Ingelson, but she was disappointed by something during their relationship that led to conflict between them, according to a biography of the Duchess. Meghan first met Trevor in 2004 and the pair tied a knot in 2011. However, they separated after just 18 months of marriage and finalized their divorce in 2013. Three years later, Meghan met Prince Harry on a blind date and the rest is royal history. Meghan's life with Trevor was very different to how it is with Harry. He was a talent agent and producer and she was a struggling actress, both trying to climb up the greasy Hollywood pole. According to the 2018 book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, Meghan hoped that with a producer as her boyfriend, she might be able to snag a few roles through him, but she was disappointed to find that proved to be a washout. In 2006, Trevor was in production for a film called License to Wed starring the legendary Robin Williams, but he did not find a role, even a minor one, for his girlfriend. Royal expert Andrew Morton explained, during Meghan's time on Deal or No Deal, Trevor had a film in production, a marital comedy license to wed starring funny man Robin Williams and Mandy Moore. Meghan secretly hoped there would be a role for her, but the bit parts that might have suited her went to more experienced actresses who had worked with the director Ken Guapas on the TV series The Office. It was to become a source of conflict between the couple. Meghan becoming disappointed that Trevor didn't try harder to include her in some of his productions. At the time, Meghan was struggling to get roles and was paying the bills by appearing as a briefcase girl on the TV game show Deal or No Deal. While many of her colleagues saw it as a fantastic opportunity, Meghan merely viewed it as a stepping stone to more serious acting roles and was constantly going to auditions. As time went on, Meghan reportedly continuously nagged Trevor to get her cast in something he was producing and, as he became more successful, he was able to throw her a few crumbs. First, he cast her as the secretary in a short film called The Candidate, in which she handled a beautifully written note in a nod to her calligraphy skills. He later cast her as a small role in the 2010 feature film Remember Me starring Robert Pattinson which ended up being his biggest hit to date with both box office and critical acclaim. While Trevor was getting plaudits, he was named by The Hollywood Reporter as one of the top 35 under 35 in the next-gen class of 2009 for his work as a manager and producer, Meghan played her role as the supportive girlfriend. Mr. Morton wrote, Meghan did her best to shine as the beautiful, talented, as well as supportive girlfriend of a bona fide mover and shaker who could now afford to give Meghan a few crumbs from his groaning pile of scripts. At least it would stop her continuously nagging him to give her a part in one of his productions. Eventually, of course, Meghan managed to make a name for herself independently from Trevor after being cast as Rachel Zane in the TV legal drama Suits. She was in the show for six years, before leaving in 2017, coinciding with her engagement to Prince Harry. Meghan and Harry got married in May 2018, becoming the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on marriage. They had their baby, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, the following year. Sadly, the Sussexes announced last month that they would be stepping down as senior royals. They will now split their time between the UK and Canada and work towards becoming financially independent. Trevor, meanwhile, is now married to dietitian Tracy Curland. Meghan Markle Heartbreak. Harry's wife suffered a bust in 2006 like ex-husband Trevor. Meghan Markle and her ex-husband, Trevor Ingelson, both experienced a major bust in 2006. In the book Meghan, A Hollywood Princess, royal author Andrew Morton revealed that the first movie that Ingelson produced flopped at the box office. Out of his team's $75 million budget, the movie Zoom only earned $12 million. Around the same time that Engelson was struggling with his first produced movie, his then-wife was slowly but steadily chugging along. According to Morton, things were not much better for the Duchess of Sussex. So far 2006 has been a bust, both for film and TV roles. The daily rejections would have broken someone with less grit but Meghan knew it was a numbers game. As girls dropped out and headed home defeated, the greater her chance of booking something came.
Morton wrote. Seven years after Engelson and Markle's struggles, the couple decided to get divorced. Shortly after their marriage ended, Prince Harry's wife penned an entry on her lifestyle blog, The Tig, which her fans assumed had to do with her failed marriage. In the post, Markle quoted a Portuguese self-help author about not allowing other people to lie and manipulate her. I no longer spend a single minute on those who lie or want to manipulate. I decided not to coexist anymore with pretense, hypocrisy, dishonesty, and cheap praise, the quote read. In Morton's book, the royal expert also claimed that Markle divorced her ex-husband without letting her know what their issues were. Engelson's friend shared details from their conversation and how the producer felt that he went from being the most important person in Markle's life to being nothing more than an annoyance. As of late, Engelson has never shared his side of the story. But rumors previously swirled that he was planning on producing a television show about a man's failed marriage to a royal. However, the project didn't push through.